The Chicago Bears, after a fantastic first half, stopped playing football in the second half and lost to the Green Bay Packers yet again by the score of 45 to 30 to drop to what is it, four and nine now on the season. Pretty much wiping away our playoff hopes. They were already wiped away a long time ago, but if you had any sort of tiny hope left, it, it's completely gone now, okay? The Bears are done this year, and we lost again, okay? So what's going on, guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears post-game reaction videos. These get harder to do with each passing week because, man, the losing takes a toll on you as a fan, okay? Especially when you're as invested into this team as I am, as you guys are as well. If you're watching this video, you're probably a diehard fan. So it's it's just really freaking sucks, man, to always lose to this team up north. Um, I expected a loss. I expected a blowout loss. But after that first half, man, they teased us so hard in that first half. Okay, with, with how great the Bears were playing on special teams, you know, scoring on offense as well. I thought the Bears might have a tiny, tiny chance to steal this in the second half. But... Like I mentioned, man, the Bears stopped playing football in the second half for whatever reason, okay? We turned the ball over. We couldn't move the ball on offense anymore. Defense was getting absolutely shredded in the second half by guys like Devontae Adams, other guys as well. We couldn't tackle. We couldn't stop the run. We couldn't stop A.J. Dillon, and it just, it all snowballed down from there, okay? And I knew when Matt Nagy decided to punt the ball on fourth and inches, Okay, in, in a game which you're probably not going to win, but if you went for it, you might have had somewhat of a chance of scoring on that drive and maybe coming back. Okay, in a season that's already lost, okay, for a team that is 4-8 and eight before this game, Matt Nagy decided to punt the ball to Aaron Rodgers on fourth and in inches he doesn't have enough faith in his guys to even pick up a couple inches that's how pathetic of a coach he is that's how much of a, a wimp he is as a head coach and that's why players aren't playing hard for him you know anymore okay obviously in the second half it seems like our team completely gave up because our coach gave up on the team as well now obviously on that punt guys that should have been a touchdown for us guys that call on Kendall Wilder was one of the weakest calls I've ever seen a lot of people online agree with me it's not just me being biased a lot of people agreed that Kendall Wilder was barely outside for like two steps he was trying to come back inside it's just it's such a ticky tacky rule regardless because it's obviously not affecting the play man Kendall Wilder had nothing to do with the play with Damian Williams scooping up the ball and scoring a touchdown but that entire touchdown got called back because of that ticky tacky penalty and also there was footage of a Packers player also running out of bounds um on that kickoff and then coming back into the play which obviously was not called so there were some really bad calls obviously by the refs in this game but obviously we beat ourselves in this game as well which is the main reason why we lost this game we had three turnovers tonight you know Justin Fields had one horrible pick six which that that's I can't defend that okay that was a terrible ball by Fields but he did rebound very nicely after that uh, throwing a strike to Demir Bird for a huge touchdown on a looked like a slant route so he rebounded pretty well after that in the second half he did have a fumble too to start out the third quarter but that was a play where Tevin Jenkins, which by the way, guys, Tevin Jenkins got inserted into the lineup finally um, starting because Jason Peters got injured to begin this game. Now, I'll talk about him in a little bit, but Tevin Jenkins gave up immediate pressure on that play. He held as well, and that's kind of why Justin Fields fumbled, okay? Obviously, you would like him to try to get that ball out faster, but you can't really do anything when your blind side is getting destroyed like that. So, Fields had a couple turnovers. He also did miss a couple throws in the second half as well, but... He is a rookie, guys, so obviously there are going to be some rookie pains, okay? I, I better not see people overreacting to this game by Justin Fields, especially considering the fact that he was still playing partially injured, still hasn't played a game in a while because he was out the last few weeks. So combining that with the fact that he is a rookie that's bound to make mis make some mistakes, I'm not overly mad at Justin Fields' performance at all, guys, okay? There were actually a lot of plays in this game where he looked like a pretty damn good quarterback, okay? If you look at his final stats, 18 for 33 for 224, passing yards two passing touchdowns uh, two interceptions as well but one of those interceptions was kind of garbage time where he just threw the ball up to Mooney and bounced off of his hands so obviously some mistakes from field some nice flashes as well uh, talking about Tevin Jenkins though first half man he was actually pretty freaking good okay he was key in blocking on that I think it was a Jakeem Grant touchdown the first one 
Um, we had a lot of blockers on that play, but I believe uh, Tevin Jenkins had a pretty nice block on that play. He also had a, a number of other plays where he was holding his own. But in the second half, man, he didn't look that good, okay? But like I mentioned, man, he is a rookie. This was his first game ever starting in the NFL. So go easy on Tevin Jenkins, guys. He's young. He's going to improve. And he played a pretty good first half. We just kind of maintained that into the second half. Like the rest of the team couldn't either. So... Obviously not the best day from our rookies, but there were some positives to take away. Um, If you want to talk about the rest of the team, then the defense, absolute garbage. Jalen Johnson did hold his own against Devontae Adams in the first half, but rest of our guys, man, were getting burnt out there like they have been getting pretty much the entire season, okay? Xavier Crawford is also one of the worst cornerbacks in the NFL. He made a number of bad plays in coverage. Um, where he got burnt and it just seemed like man Sean Desai had no answer for Aaron Rodgers okay he had 341 passing yards four passing touchdowns destroyed our defense like he always does and I get that we don't have the most talent in the world but nothing Sean Desai did was working in that second half okay we're getting ran on we're allowing easy plays to you know Devontae Adams other guys and it's just we're not providing any resistance to Aaron Rodgers whatsoever okay so obviously defense allowing 45 points well you know, I guess seven of those were from Justin Fields pick six, but still allowing 38 points is not good whatsoever. Okay. I don't care who you're going up against. Allowing 38 is probably going to lose you most games in this league. And, you know, our offense scoring only three in the second half is another reason why we lost this game. Okay. We could have been in this game if our offense continued scoring like it was in the first half, but we just completely stopped. Like, now I will say though, guys, even though this loss stinks, I was having a lot of fun in that first half. Like I was going crazy in the first half. It was like, it was probably my favorite moment of this entire season, that first half against this team, because even though I knew we probably were going to blow it at the end, just to see my team put up 27 against the Green Bay Packers on primetime. It was just so freaking incredible to watch. Okay, Jakeem Grant was a monster in this game with that huge 97-yard punt return touchdown. This guy's an absolute warrior. Um, he also had that first touchdown, which was on a... It's kind of like a pitch, but it, I think it counted as a pass for Justin Fields. But regardless, he took that down the sideline to the house. So his speed was on full display um, in this game. He looked like a you know version of Tariq Cohen in this game. So... Hats off, man, to Jakeem Grant. You carried us in this game. And special teams as a whole, man, they made this game so freaking fun to watch. We were getting huge returns practically every single time. And we were giving our offense such great field position. And we also scored, you know, three touchdowns on special teams, but only one of them counted, which is kind of questionable. I feel like that Damian Williams touchdown recovery should have should have definitely counted because Kendall Wilder had nothing to do with that play. It was such a ticky-tacky call regardless. But... Man, hats off to the special teams, man. Chris Tabor, you coach your ass off in this game. Your guys were definitely ready to play in this game. But yeah, man, that's pretty much all I want to say in this video. It is a pretty short video, but I don't want to ramble on for too long because people generally don't like watching these after losses. But if you are watching this, I hope you enjoyed the video. Fantastic, fantastic first half. I was really, really getting excited in the first half, but then I came back down to reality. The Bears came back down to reality and we lost this game by a score of 45 to 30. We still cannot beat this team up north. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. But as always, bear down.